Hi, I'm Ross. Welcome to Deku Digest, your weekly series about movies and shows available on Deku, the only streaming service dedicated to gay men. This week, we're going to discuss Jamel and Tim, Ayor, Shower Boys, and Eight Years. Let's get right into it with a clip from Jamel and Tim. Around that time when you first met Ed, that was when he first got introduced to shooting up meth. And you put these underwear on and just model these underwear for me. And then it began to be more degrading and more degrading. What he got off on sexually was testing the limits. I mean, literally, this is what he said as he would shoot them up. Your, your, your African blood can take it. The award-winning documentary Jamel and Tim explores the lives and untimely passings of Jamel Moore and Timothy Dean, two black gay men who died from meth overdoses at the home of West Hollywood politico Ed Buck. Their deaths at the now infamous apartment sent shockwaves through the LGBTQ plus community. Shortly after, the ensuing media circus cooked up a spicy concoction of sex, drugs, race, and politics, but had no appetite for the in-depth human stories of the individual victims. This new film looks at Jamel and Tim's parallel walks of life through the eyes of their extended and chosen families. Memories, correspondences, and the things they did and didn't share with each other are all examined. Through the intimate recollections of their friends, we get to know these young men and their personal journeys. Powerful and galvanizing, Jamel and Tim simultaneously investigates the crimes and offers a cautionary tale to keep similar events from repeating in the future. Next up, Aeor. Sorry, 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 sorry. Kom, het was heel druk. En... Wat vertraging. Ja, ik ging wel tegen op het station. Oké, okay, is er veel politie? Hé, hey. wat? Komt goed. Ja, we zijn op tijd. Ja, ga nou maar. Jij kan dit. Ja, ja. Oké. Okay. Ik zie je straks, goed? Ik hou van je. Wiens idee was het? In a 11 minute period piece from writer-director Tom Baker, this new film blends fact and fiction to tell an important story of gay activism. AOR, an acronym which stands for At Your Own Risk, takes place in the Netherlands in 1970. Thor Braun and Lars Brinkman start in the film as Jan and Inno, two men who attempt to use a national commemoration of Remembrance Day to make a bold statement against gay discrimination. In the moments before and after the incident, their doubts, fears, and firm beliefs become entirely clear. Don't miss this powerful and expertly directed new short. Next up, Shower Boys. Johan, the shoes stop with you. Take it over and not join me. Who's the down now? Trying to be constig. You're too playing still laget. Fast i så fall är väl jag mer man än du. Så inte bara det man räknar. Så vad avgör? Jag är ju både starkare och snabbare. Och det är ju två poäng. Vad då för poäng? Mans poäng. Utmanar mig. An award-winning nine-minute short film from Swedish screenwriter Albin Abramsen and co-writer-director Christian Zetterberg, Shower Boys follows two young men who spend an afternoon struggling with their understanding of masculinity. After a heated training match, 12-year-olds Vigo and Noel decide to spend some time together in the sauna. The two friends begin to compete to see which of them is more manly, though Neither of them are looking to qualify for a top score. What feels only natural to them may be regarded quite differently by their parents. Using nuanced writing and outstanding performances, Shower Boys reflects the complexity of growing up freely as a young boy and being able to explore your emotions and desires. While society tells boys they must fit in a specific box, this short film and its characters deconstruct all the usual stereotypes. Lastly, eight years. ¿Cómo va la noche? 
Tengo la fórmula para hacerla inolvidable. ¿Ah, sí? ¿Y cuál es? Que vengáis a mi finca. Tengo un pura sangre. Vaya. Una cosa descomunal. Yo es que nunca he montado. Cuando subas, no te vas a querer bajar nunca. Nunca. Es que estamos juntos. Pues vamos los tres. Jose and David were once deeply in love. For seven years, their romance grew and blossomed through highs and lows before they ultimately broke up. Months later, haunted by memories of their past, the former couple visit the island of La Palma, where they originally met for the first time. Wanting to celebrate what would have been their eighth anniversary, they plan to explore new places together with the hopes of forging a friendship out of the dying embers of their old love. But Jose and David didn't expect the complicated emotions that would awaken between them throughout a journey full of enigmatic characters and sublime landscapes. The debut feature of Spanish writer-director J.D. Alcazar, Eight Years is a sexy and bittersweet gay romance set against a gorgeous, sun-soaked tropical paradise. Have you seen these films? Let us know in the comments what you thought, or look us up on Letterboxd, where you can connect with other queer cinema lovers and rate all your favorite gay movies. If you haven't seen them, watch them wherever you can find Deku, including right here on YouTube. Just click Movies and TV to purchase our YouTube Primetime channel. Sign up anywhere for a free trial and get access to hundreds of gay films, including these recent releases. Deku adds at least three gay movies every week on top of its extensive catalog of classics and new films. So please, like and subscribe to our channel and join us next week for another new edition of Deku Digest.